Today must be your lucky day. This is my lucky day. You found me. I'm Tom, and this is Alley Picked, where I love to refinish, rebuild, repurpose, and reuse old, discarded items, upcycling them often into cool and useful items never before seen or way better than they were before. And today, I have this simple table. I borrowed this from Beyond Grandma's House Vintage Antiques and Collectibles in Chicago. My plan is threefold. First of all, I want to repaint it. Secondly, I want to put a decoupage artwork on the top and then flood it with an epoxy finish. I'm going to take this from the simple to the spectacular, and I hope you'll stick around to watch the transformation. Painting furniture is easy. Painting furniture so that it looks good and lasts a long time is not so easy. The current paint job is one that I'd classify as, well, let's just say it doesn't do this piece of furniture any favors. Before repainting, I'm going to sand it down with 180 grit paper. The best way to get that nice, smooth and even paint finish is to spray it on. I'm using this inexpensive but effective spray gun I got from the Tills Wall Company. I'm putting in regular interior latex paint with a small amount of water mixed in so it'll be slightly thinner and it'll flow through the spray nozzle without getting clogged. Once it dries completely, I decided to use this decal rather than decoupage, which was my original intention. When applying the rub-on decals, it is important to go slowly and peel back the plastic film ever so slowly. If the image pulls up, push it back down, rub it again with the plastic or wood stick that comes with the pattern, and then continue. The decal is very thin and fragile. To protect the decal, I could use a simple water-based polyurethane. But I think a better, more professional looking finish will be to pour in some epoxy. I have here some epoxy from a company called Let's Resin. Now there's various types of epoxies depending on your application. Since I'm only going to be applying about one eighth of an inch thick, I'm using what's called tabletop epoxy. Epoxy comes in two separate containers, one labeled A and the second labeled B. One is a resin, the second one is a hardener. Epoxy needs to be mixed thoroughly, roughly five to eight minutes. Mixing is the worst part of the process. You need to scrape the sides and bottom of the container repeatedly. I am currently working on a couple of epoxy for beginner videos, so here I'm just gonna be giving you an overview of what I'm doing. Fortunately, this table has a lip on the edges, so I don't need to worry about the epoxy spilling over. When doing this, I'm pushing the epoxy all the way to the edges so the flow process won't be impeded. The epoxy was dry the next day, but that's when I noticed a problem. There was an air bubble that dried right in the middle of the table. And it was a deep bubble. There's a couple ways I could fix this, but I decided to just cover it up with a butterfly decal. First, I need to sand the whole top with 220 grit sandpaper. Clean it, then apply the decal. Now I can give the whole thing a second coat of epoxy. Fortunately, I didn't fill the space completely to the top, so I was able to add a very thin second layer. Now I could have left the table looking like this and called it a day, but I thought I could improve it even further by painting some of the accents. I found this nice antique gold paint, which I really like. Once the paint and epoxy have completely dried, I'll give just the wood parts a coat of water-based polyurethane. Oil based here would be a mistake. Do you know why? You are correct. It would give the beautiful antique white color a yellow tint and not a good looking yellow. 
Now it's time to bring the table back to the rightful owners, Bob and Mary Jo, at Beyond Grandma's house, Vintage Antiques, for the big reveal. Treat from Tom, huh? Yes. Let's see what we got here. You ready? I'm ready. Let me, ready? You ready? Oh here we go. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. That is beautiful. Oh, I love it. That's this amazing. is gorgeous. That's this a good is one. gorgeous, Tom. I don't often sell the projects that I build, but this one is currently available for purchase. Link in the video description. I'm Tom, this is Allie Picked, and thanks for watching. <laughs>